Okay, so real quick, because I don't have long, and I don't have hardly any time to do this, but tomorrow is the Feast of Trumpets, starting at sundown. Uh, I'm going to link a video uh, that I did in more detail about the Feast of Trumpets uh, that leads into the Day of Atonement, that also leads into the Feast of Tabernacles for, uh, for you guys in the description box and in the comment section below, along with my email address. Uh, for any Christian who is choosing to embark on these holy days and take part of these holy days, and you need prayers, you don't know what to pray for or, or how to pray, uh, and uh, you just need prayers, uh, please email me and I will send you some prayers. Uh, I encourage every Christian, uh, as, long as, as well as those who are suffering from sin, or they're in bondage to some sin, uh, they, they deal with uh, ungodly uh, fleshly emotions and, and, and can't get the monkey off their back. I encourage you guys to also partake uh, in these holy days because uh, the Feast of the Trumpets, uh, which leads to a 10 day um, period of repentance uh, leading to the Day of Atonement. On the Day of Atonement, we become purified and cleansed of these sins, guys. Uh, and it's so worth it. It's so worth it. So I encourage you guys to take part of these holy days. Um, and a lot of people say it's not a salvational uh, issue, but uh, in a way it is because you can be set free. Um, if you are dealing with sin, if you're in bondage to sin, you're going to hell. And sorry, I'm not sugarcoating it, but it's, it's not me, it's the Bible that says that. So uh, during this time, you can take the opportunity to get to, to, to repent, come in repentance to the Lord, draw near to the Lord and be cleansed and sanctified you know, in the Lord and, and be free from sin, which leads to salvation. Um, uh, I just want to uh, say that hallelujah, we have a brother in Christ from New Zealand who's actually starting his Feast of Trumpets today. Um, for any for any of you who also want to fellowship during this time, and we're going to need fellowship during this time, you know, to build each other up, to edify one another, to pray with each other and over each other, uh, uh, please email me and... Um, we can, we can fellowship together. We're going to have fellowship during the day and also at night for those, uh, just for availability for those who can make it, either or. But uh, during this time period, we need to be together. We need to be as one, praying together, building each other up, edifying each other up. So if you want to also uh, fellowship uh, during this time, uh, please reach out to me and, and, and we can do so. Again, we just, um, the video about the Feast of Trumpets, Day of Atonement, Feast of Tabernacle. Never will tabernacles is going to be put in the description box and in the comment section please look at the video to get more uh, information uh, and, it, and I just encourage you guys to embrace uh, these holy days because they are important if we love Jesus we're all about uh, all things Christ um, so I just encourage you guys to do that and if you need prayers uh, please reach out and if you want a fellowship during this time please reach out so um, I'm excited for tomorrow, Feast of Trumpets starting at sundown tomorrow. Uh, if you're planning the feast, um, just make sure you're not cooking or slaving throughout the whole day. Be prepared beforehand. Um, I love you guys, and if there's any questions or concerns or anything, just also email me. Uh, Y'all guys have a blessed day. In Jesus' name, bye-bye.